You want to record your rides to get epic shots, but you just don't know where to start? Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your helmet to properly motor vlog, record audio, and also how to get cameras at a discounted rate. Stay tuned. Now I'm going to show you how I mount my cameras on my helmet. I'm going to put this one over here and I'm going to use, hold on just a second. When you first get your GoPro, it's going to come with these mounting tabs and they have 3M tape on them, adhesive tape. What you want to do is find a curved part. Typically we pick the top part so you can get an overhead view or right in front. And this will be your base mounting tab. Before you go ahead and put it on your helmet, you want to make sure it's nice and clean. So get an alcohol rag. I said alcohol rag. You want to wipe it down with some alcohol or another solvent to make sure it's nice and clean before you go ahead and stick it to your helmet. I'm going to do it for you. This is a traditional full face helmet. I know I wanted it mounted right in front of me so I can see all around and up here as well. Now the difference is between this one and this one, this is a modular helmet, right? So with the modular helmet, I can't put it here because when I lift it up, it's gonna just aim at the sky. So I wanna mount it on the side so I can get a perfect view. So I'm gonna wipe the side of my helmet, wipe it down, and then tape a mounting tab and peel off the paper and put it on the side as you see fit. So I did that for y'all. <laughs> now it's time to set up your GoPro to go on to this. So if you have an older GoPro, and I'm saying older GoPro, anything seven and down, you're gonna need a case to go into it. We're gonna go ahead and put it inside of our case. We're gonna lock it. You also have a bunch of these little parts that allows you to mount it to your helmet and out of your way, but allows you to also record. Okay, so now you see I have my GoPro hooked up to my helmet. Now I'm gonna show you how to record audio. Okay, so the next thing you need is a microphone to hook up to your GoPro. Make sure, and I repeat, this is very, very important. Make sure that you get a TRS, TRS, TRS microphone. Not in TRRS, but you can tell the difference because a TRS microphone has two rings on top of the input on the 3.5 millimeter jack. If you get the one with three, it will not work. But GQ, it works with my telephone. It works with, that. listen to what I'm telling you. You need the one with two so it can work properly. Now, once we have that microphone, you need an adapter. GoPro makes an adapter for the 3.5 millimeter. And what it does is it hooks inside of the side of your GoPro like so. And then you put the microphone jack into the side and then you run it through your helmet into a place where you're gonna be speaking at. So the reason why I have this super long wire is because I use a modular helmet. And when I'm recording and I need to put my helmet up, I don't want the wire to get pinched or get stuck or put any stress on it. It's a little longer than what I need, but I have it there as a precaution. I tend I tend to take off my uh, my cheek pads and then I run my mic right here on the side. I tend not to put it directly in front of my mouth because you get that, that breathy, that And we don't want that, you know what I'm saying? So I put it off to the side so it doesn't pick up any extra noise. If you're getting any value from this video, go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button for me. So for my people who have newer GoPros, which is pretty much uh, Hero 8 and above, they changed how it mounts. So you have these mounting tabs built directly into the camera. They're a little more expensive, but you get the added benefit of having 5K video and also having 4K at 120 frames per second. And it allows you to capture so much detail. And when you play it back and you slow the footage down the footage is, is is crispier than church's chicken i promise so we could just mount it just like this now audio for our audio 
it's almost the same thing, but you have a different option for audio with the GoPro 8 and up. The media mod. So the GoPro media mod is an excellent addition. It does have some pros and cons, but it allows you to add an external mic. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack built right into the media mod. And it also has mounts for you to add additional lighting to your GoPro. How the media mod works is you remove the door from the side of the GoPro and you essentially stick it right inside like so and then shut it back down. What I would caution some people about the media mod is it runs off the battery of the GoPro. So if you're using this and you're moto vlogging, make sure you have some extra batteries on hand because it's gonna drain your battery much faster than if it was running by itself. And that is one reason why I tend to not use this when I'm moto vlogging, right? I use that same 3.5 millimeter jack and plug it right in on the side. But GQ, where's my door? We, we, you gonna have the door wide open? I, I, I. I got something for you. I'm gonna put a link in the description to everything that I'm showing you guys already. But there are some companies out there that makes doors with openings just like so. So you can plug in your 3.5 millimeter jack and not have to worry about a battery falling out or moisture. Uh, getting in and so on and so forth and so we'll hook it back up so you guys can see uh oh 3.5 millimeter jack and plug it right in and so yeah it's it's hanging and, and things like that but what i do is what i personally do is i just kind of tuck it in underneath the uh the screw mount and it stays pretty snug the whole time while I'm riding. I don't have any issues with it. But they make cases for these as well for you to uh, put your medium out at the bottom so, so you don't have to worry about trying to rig it up so that it stays fit. So you can get this case from you from your Lansy. I'll put a link to the description in that. And you can put your GoPro inside of it. You have another door and then stick it through one end and out the other, turn it, and boom. And then it keeps it everything, it keeps everything nice and tucked away. Voila. So for the people who are just getting into it and don't wanna invest a lot of money, you can get cheap GoPros at a discounted rate. You can go to eBay or amazon.com. I prefer Amazon because it comes with a warranty and you can send it back. But what you do is you type in whatever GoPro that you're looking for and then type in renewed behind it. I have my personal two GoPros that I've used on plenty of my journeys. I have a GoPro Hero 6 Black and a GoPro Hero 5 Black. If you're gonna get used GoPros, make sure you get the black version of them because they offer more features than the standard version. All right, some accessories that you will need when you're motor vlogging and getting your motor vlog set up. You're definitely gonna need extra batteries. Try to get something that has a charging case. You will need SD card. Typical size SD cards that I get is 256 gigabytes. It gives me a lot of space. Make sure that you get an SD card that comes from a reputable company like SanDisk and also get SD cards that has V30 or higher on it. Now for your bike. There are multiple ways to mount your GoPro to your bike, I'm gonna talk about the way that I do it. I personally use Ram mount accessories and GoPro action accessories to mount my GoPro to my bike. I recommend using any type of extension arm. This is an eight inch, I believe, and I think this one is a four inch. I use the clutch reservoir mount, and then I use the extension arm, and then I use the, uh, the one inch ball joint for the GoPro. What I like the most about this setup is I can shoot forward, I can shoot backward, I can shoot left, right. I can also angle it down and up to get a bunch of different angles. And if you want to see that in action, check out this video right here. And this is your man GQ, the leader of the peace army, telling you guys to be safe, be cool, and most importantly, be you and peace out until we meet again.